I find the the way I use language is often like coming from a place of like a uh, kind of frustration and messiness and like trying to trying to reach at things that you can't reach at or something. Um, PJ Harvey talks about it with the with the, she's obsessed with the pixies because they do the la this like loud loud quiet thing that I think is like yeah, yeah. so. Um, it's just I, I mean it's just contrast as well that sort of like release and uh, kind of I think for me that's where a lot of the sort of emotion kind of lives. The uh, you know the loud is nothing without the quiet. So this is Emily Roderick and Georgina Rollins, their Yoke Collective. And this is Ruby Green. <laughs> so <intense. laughs> right. I was really interested in architecture's kind of relationship with surveillance and kind of how that structure of power is often kind of built into cities. And then Emily was kind of interested in sight, but in a different yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good way of putting it. Actually, I think, uh, yeah, I was definitely looking at sight in a more performative way, probably. Like how we kind of came together was maybe more through the use of screens in different yeah, ways. And yeah. The, yeah, I think that interest became part of my practice, but mm. from the collaboration, yeah, more because that fueled the kind of performative aspect in a different way of mm -hmm. what I was working with, yeah. So can you explain what CV Dazzle is? Yeah, I yeah. mean CV Dazzle is a technique rather than like a specific face paint or like material um, and it's a way of painting your face to hide yourself from face detection algorithms. It's like a way of reversing how a camera might be able, or a computer might be able to recognise you as a person. So your face can be like uh, reduced to a certain amount of pixels, light and dark, and basically you're reversing those light and dark pixels through the way that you paint your face. Recently, we've been testing it against like Instagram face filters or like Snapchat face filters, and that's getting so advanced and intelligent, it's really hard to actually kind of scramble it. Yeah, mm. and I think like we're probably interested in like the more wider idea around its use as well, mm. that how we can like work against the camera in a way. Voila. <laughs>